Is this your pitch? All Paris is my pitch. Got any spare change? For a coffee? Maybe. I need to find a man. Then look no further, my petite. This is a particular man. Bouchard. Louis Bouchard. Know him? <clears throat> no. Never heard of him. Even for spare change? Go away. I never heard of him. So where could I ask? I could use a coffee. How about you? Try the Café Metro. In the Place d'Arcade. The owner might be able to help you. Knows all kinds of stuff. Sounds like my kind of café. What about the spare change, mademoiselle? I didn't say I had any. Welcome to Paris. You looking for anything special, little lady? So what are you, a city guide? That's right, I'm a city guide all tastes and interests catered for. Good, I need directions. I'm trying to find a man called Bouchard. Do you know him? That's not a healthy kind of question to be asking. Don't tell me Paris is dangerous. Oh, we got all kinds of rough stuff here in Paris, including our own serial killer. Have you heard of the Monstrum, huh? Have you heard of him? What do you really know about the Monstrum? Not much. Uh, the killings are very messy, uh, you know, uh, grisly, uh, no one's safe. Even Bouchard? Maybe no one, no exceptions. Have you heard uh, what the Monstrum does to the victims? So how do I contact Bouchard? He won't have time for casual callers. Uh, been having staff problems at his club, I hear. Bouchard runs a club? Yeah, the Serpent Rouge, flashy throat. Why should losing staff be such a big deal? Because these staff are dying on the job, messily. No one knows why or how. You don't think Bouchard's up to handling it? Keep your voice down. Bouchard can handle all he needs to. But this is something different, something creepy. His people didn't die pretty. It's got him really shaken. Is it the monster? Who knows for sure? I just tried to keep my nose clean. You should too. So you've no idea where Bouchard is? No. Well, I'm sure someone does. I'll ask around. Yeah, do that. Why don't you try uh, Café Metro? What's a Café Metro? Nothing, man. Only the biggest loser in Paris. It's a joke. Forget it. Let me show you some of our local specialties. No thanks. Having to keep low, eh? <laughs> That's hard. Especially with the cops being so trigger happy. Should I give Bouchard your regards when I find him? No, don't do that. But if you are at a loose end, look me up. I'm sure we could find something diverting for you. You know, uh, something special. See you around. Not a lot of passing trade at this hour. It's early yet. Move along, ma chère. You make the place look crowded. Have you worked in this neighborhood for long? What can I do for you, chérie? I'm looking for someone you might know. Name of Bouchard. You won't find him here, ma chère. He did run the club across the road. Le Serpent Rouge, but had to move premises. There was a lot of trouble, I heard. Things needed to lie quiet for a while. Oh? Trouble? Lost some of his best people. Very messy business. Made him nervous. And that's saying something. Do you know where he moved to? No idea. There are people who know, but uh, if your mind wants to lie low, he won't be easy to contact. I'd have guessed as much. Everyone's in hiding. Not everyone, chérie. What do you want him for? I'm trying to track down a friend's movements. Lost, is he? Dead. But he made contact with Bouchard before he checked out. Tell you what, there's two guys who used to work at Le Serpent Rouge. So Bouchard didn't lose everybody? No. 
These two left before the troubles closed the place down. One's a miserable old devil called Bernard who was the janitor there. He hangs about in the park sometimes. And the other one? The other one, Pierre, worked as a barman. Makes bad deals that backfire on him. He runs the café at the Place d'Arcade now. Café Metro. You never know. Might be worth a shot. What makes this café owner so unlucky? Oh, he's a total loser. Claims Bouchard held back some money or something of his and kept it at the club. I don't know the details. You seem to know plenty. I didn't catch your name. Janice. Does anyone know who's causing Bouchard all this grief? Or why? No. Or oh, they're not saying. The Monstrum has got everyone too scared to talk. I'd have thought Bouchard would be geared up for trouble. He can handle it all right. No one better. But the way his people has been dying. Mm, so ugly. And that poor woman. What woman? Someone called Carvier. She worked at the Louvre, it said on the radio. I don't want to talk about it. Carvier? No. You watch out, my chère. There is a lot of sickos loose on the streets. Yeah. That's okay. Some of us like it that way.
is the security pass I need. Brother Obscura. Here's information on the artist who painted over the original images. Brother Obscura. It says he was ordered to disguise the Black Alchemist paintings with religious imagery. Then the paintings were hidden. He made secret copies of the paintings, sketches, and hid them too. They became known as the Obscura engravings. Obscura paintings. There's information here on the Obscura paintings. It says there were five images painted on thick wooden bases, like Russian icons, I guess. They were created by the black alchemist Peter van Eckhart in the 13th or 1400s. Together, the five paintings hide something called the Sanglip, or the Blood Sign. I wonder what that does. The five Obscura engravings. Ah, details about the Obscura engravings. It says here that all five contain encrypted maps of a painting's secret location. Now that could be useful. Another cold, dark city. Great. Don't you just love this weather? What do you know about that building over there? Uh, what? That one. Big thing with snow on it. Beat it, I'm busy. On an important case, are we? Yes, I'm a reporter. So what happened in there? 
Another monstrum killing. You're not from around here. No, I need information, which I'd be willing to pay for. It'll cost you. I gathered Vasily was some kind of art dealer. More than that, he was involved with the Mafia. Mafia? What makes you think so? Lady, I know so. I've been investigating Vasily's activities for some time. Tell me why he was murdered then. Vasily found something they wanted and got smudged because he tried to hang on to it. They set the monstrum on him. How could you possibly know that? Because of the way he was spread out all over the place. Oof, messy. You say he found something. Do you know what it was? A painting, perhaps? I don't know about that, but he was definitely silenced. The Mafia tidied away all the evidence, took it to the Strahov. Now you're going to tell me what the Strahov is, aren't you? No, your credit just ran out. Keep talking till the money runs out. It's not that. This is dangerous stuff, I'm telling you. I shouldn't be shooting off my mouth. You're a big boy. You can handle it. Tell me your name. Wadik. My name's Wadik. Okay, Ludik. What else? Yeah. The Strahov is the Mafia center of operations in Prague. There's been a lot of activity there recently. You're well informed. I'm a professional. It's my business. I've got dossiers on all the main players. It'll cost you. Okay, I'm in. You call these dossiers? Yuck! Do you know who that is? No, he arrived yesterday. That's Bouchard. He's a Parisian gang boss. I ran into him over a personal matter. Really? Is he Paris Mafia then? No idea. Who's that? That's Eckhart. He's the Mafia top guy from what I can find out, but I know less about him than the others. They're all gathered in the Strahov at the moment. All of them? All six major players. Eckhart and the other five. Ludic, I have to get in there. Today, how would you manage it? It's not easy. The place is heavily guarded. Security gates, cameras, ident scanners. But... But I could get an access code. I have contacts. It'll take me half an hour. Okay. While you're on your errand, I'm going to start with Vasily's. Be careful in there. And don't keep me waiting. It's not healthy to hang about on the streets, especially in weather like this. Stay warm.
It won't open. Stronger now. locked. I'll need a key. <sighs> this door is locked. I'll need a key.
Peace.